Afternoon everyone, Ian from DIY Ham Gardening. 4th of June, I'm at the allotment. Kind of looks like it's gonna rain, and why wouldn't it? Because it's my day off. Um, and I'm in front of the dahlia patch. So if I turn the camera around, and we can have a look as to what I'm doing. Okay, so caning up time. Uh, last year I actually had a couple of people ask how I support my dahlias, uh, in particular being uh, the allotment with it um, being so windy because most people tend to grow dahlias in the garden and even the garden dahlias can get quite tall and weighty with all their flowers and have a tendency to collapse. Now within the garden centres there's loads of lovely looking ornamental uh, plant supports, plant rings, um, which are fantastic for the garden. But to be honest, when you're growing a number of dahlias, then they can be very expensive. So um, what I normally use is a uh, three foot cane. Um, this year, well, three foot, that's only a two foot, but three foot. Um, this year they've gone to four foot canes, just to give me a bit more uh, strength. And so when I've done the planting, sticking just one row of each variety that I'm doing, and I'll just put a singular cane next to them, just really to, I suppose it helps show where the plants are, and there's that hope that it will keep the birds off the plants as well, uh, just by adding a little bit of um, stuff to the bed. Um, so we get to this stage and wanting to start supporting the plants better. So then put in a uh, triple cane method. So if I just set the camera up and uh, quickly show you. Right, and it is super easy and to be honest, uh, I need to have the canes or some support up here because it is very windy up at this site. And I would do anyway, to be honest. So all we're doing is just put one to the back and I tend to go with two to the front, uh, thick end in the ground most, and just making sure that they got nice, solid in the ground. I do like them to be the same height, so that uh, tends to be my slight OCD. Um, so I just push them in until they're the same height, all the way across. Let's get these others in, and then uh, we we'll move on to the next stage. Won't take me a moment. So just picking these out, and when we're doing the spacing. At the base of the plant, it's probably about um, 10 inch spacing to the base, but with the, uh, the stakes or canes going out at an angle, and in that way, as the plant grows up, it's going to naturally get bushier and come outwards anyway, and so that's going to give you more space for the plant to, to grow. And um, you're going to be supporting that plant all the way through. And uh, the thing with these dahlias um, and chrysanthemums, for that matter, once they get to flowering stage, they put on a obviously a lot of flour at the same time and with the flour comes a lot more weight and so uh, the weight of the flour just quickly snaps the stem so again nothing technical I'm using is jute I, I like using uh, jute twine for the simple reason is that it's natural and it breaks down readily and it means that come the end of the year I can just discard it into my compost bin let me uh, angle this a little bit better for you. Right, so I'll do 
one fixing there, about six inches above ground level ish. And then I think go around the next cane. Just getting it tight. Last cane. Gonna have to get rid of that in a minute. So I'll just go around like so get them roughly level and then using this initial piece I just then tie it off do a knot in it cut and that is that's that done now as the plants grow up I'll then do another one possibly two ties up and that gives me sufficient support to take that plant you know because the foliage is going to get 18 inches two foot up and then the flowers well they should be coming around about to the uh, well three and four feet anyway depending on variety and that is a really simple way of um, supporting and tying in your dahlias I don't think it can be any easier actually but if you've got any questions and obviously send them to me I'll do my best to answer them as always if you like what I'm doing then please subscribe to the channel don't forget to hit that reminder button so you don't miss out on future videos and I always say it but it is so true just enjoy yourself have some fun and maybe try something new and if that means trying a different uh, supporting technique then give that a go as well till next time bye for now Oh,